Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to start for people that may not know your story or really understand it. Let's take maybe one or two minutes or three minutes or so just kind of share how you opened up to the work that you're doing right now and what it might mean for the people here today who are going to be receiving it. Yes. Um, I will make it short, Darius, because I could go into dates of talking about it. But um, since we're just on a short show, I'll just, just mention how it came to me. It came to my gifts of sound and my frequencies that I run through my mm. body, which I call them source frequencies, by the way. It's not a language. Uh, my sound is a carrier. Uh, the carrier to the frequencies that come, just uh, I call it source energy because I'm not really connected to a planet or a modality. Um, they're just directly channeled, and I just have that gift. Um, it did not come to me overnight, um, Darius and everybody. Um, it came from my humble beginnings of growing up in a very broken home, of being around drug users and heavy alcoholics killing themselves, pretty much my whole family in front of me growing up in um, a family of six. I was um, number five. And I've mm. um, watched this my whole life and um, did not know back then that um, even though I was an outcast my whole life, I had no friends. I know I, I pretty much was, uh, I would say, running a different frequency since I was conceived in this lifetime. So nobody really understood me. I was always an outcast. Uh, came up, grew up in a, a family with welfare, so I didn't really have anything that I could actually, I, I never fit in because my clothes were always hand-me-down clothes and always five mm. sizes too big. So to make a long story short, I went to school being made a fun of. I had buck teeth because I used to suck my thumb from um, when I was a child. I had zero love growing up. My mom um, was, had her own issues. My dad left my mom when I was um, not even born. So uh, mm. I pretty much didn't have any love. So my whole life, um, I went to school. I had learning disabilities. The teachers used to put me in the corner and scream at me because I didn't know how to uh, learn. Um, I was in chaos all the time. And then from there, um, my life started, you know, I started down. Um, you know, searching, um, basically, just to make a long story short, um, I grew up with that, and it was just very hard for me, very misunderstood life, I had no friends. So uh, at age 16, I grew up, I left my home. Um, I was very lucky that back then people did not, um, you know, get involved in people who were abused. I was abused growing up, verbally, every, everything, abusively, physically, you name it, I was abused. So I was able to move out into a local uh, uh, neighbor's apartment at 16, and that's how I was able to survive until I was older. I put myself through school and was able to get through that. Um, I was married twice in my life, first marriage. Um, I was in law enforcement, believe it or not. Um, I was a police officer. Mm. My husband um, lost his career from his eyesight. So he got hurt on the job, so obviously I left that, and um, that marriage did not work out because there was no love. I didn't know how to love. I didn't know how to receive mm. love, I, obviously, right? And then from there, shortly after that, years later, I was into a second marriage. And from there, um, that was not going anywhere either. It was a very abusive uh, relationship because I was not uh, obviously loving myself and knowing how to love myself. So, But I was yeah. successful at that time. Before my gift came to me, um, I owned businesses on the East Coast. I was making very good money. So um, so I was just very depressed and was really down and out. Uh, Darius, I was about ready to commit suicide when something inside of myself, because it was just my life not working for me. I left my family. I didn't have anybody. And my husband was very abusive on me at that time. Um, I just, some part of my being that I really feel has been really protecting me my whole life, I call it my soul, that was already in my heart. I never looked outside myself for anything, um, told me to go to the sun. So at that time, um, I pretty much gave everything I owned in my life away. This is the true story. My brand new house, I built my businesses. I, I just divorced. I gave everything away except $700, a couple bag of clothes, and a bag of jewelry. And I left mm. the Hawaiian Islands over 20 years ago. Um, so wow. I lived out of a car many months. I lived out of a car many months. I could not afford out of $700 to get an apartment. When I got here, I realized, oh, my God, it is so expensive. So yeah. <laughs> my bag of jewelry that I had with me was able to uh, pawn, pawn my, my car so I could actually live out of there. And then from there, 
um, I took showers and took baths in local hotels uh, and local uh, public showers on the beach. And uh, my sound started coming to me shortly after that, Darius, when I would sit at the beach and actually try to calm myself down because I thought it was absolutely crazy listening to this part of my being say, go to the sun, get a one-way ticket, and don't worry about it. And here I am, some wow. part of my being, thinking that there was something very expansive inside myself. Mm. This is where the answer was. I was expansive in myself thinking something, there was a calmness in me that I didn't know what the world it was. It was my soul because I was, I kind of like, if I had an ego, it was gone. It was crushed down to the size of an ant because <laughs> I left everything and no new, new built, nobody. So I felt, used to, um, when I got here and I used to get, get out of the, the traffic or, you know, there was police here on the island. They don't let people just be homeless on the streets. So I used to go to the beach and um, sit there and try to like, con- you know, get myself calm on the beach and, um, Shortly after that, these sounds would start coming through my voice, and these sounds were actually here to help myself, not anybody else. Um, they were here to heal me, and that's how I started healing myself um, from there because these sounds were actually helping me heal. But uh, the miraculous uh, miraculous part of this whole situation, Darius, is that people on the beach back then were not open to energy work, believe me. This was over 20 years ago. Would come up to me and say, what are you doing, lady? And I was like, I have no idea. These sounds are coming through me, and they're, and they're helping me. And they're like, well, they're helping me too. Can I sit with you? So then I have all these mm. of people. I would have all these cross of people sitting with me, and as long as I was there, so I was guided, and I would just get up and leave. And they were like, "I don't know who this lady is, but um, lady, you got a phone, got a cell phone or anything? I'd like to work with you, or I don't know what, what you do." Back then, I didn't even have a cell phone. But um, mm. shortly after that, I did get a job at a spa. Um, some lady was desperate. She was a spa owner um, near uh, Luau. A Luau is a local Hawaiian party, which was right down the road there. And she was divorced, and she was desperate for money. So she heard of me. One of her spa massage therapists had a beach session with me or was sitting there and said, get this lady. She does readings. I heard her say some intuitive stuff to someone, and maybe and she was blowing up people on the beach, and, you know, she's not a liability. Let's get her in here and just do something, okay, to get people into the Luau that would be intrigued to go into the spa to do something at night. So that's how I started. And uh, I sit in her rooms, and I would start blowing on people, making sound, and people were like, oh, my God. I, they were just pretty much throwing money at me back then. <laughs> and I was giving half the proceeds to the spa owner, and that's where people started finding out about me. And then, of course, over doing that for a while and months that I was doing that, I was able to get a cell phone. And then um, I started getting my phone number out, and that's how people were starting to have phone sessions with me back then. I did not uh-huh. even have a website back then. And that's what they were involved into doing vitamin shop uh, gigs and stuff. I was at vitamin stores on their health fairs every month, and I was sitting in this uh, vitamin shop with my tip jar out, and I was doing the same thing, blowing up people's bodies, making sounds, getting people out of anxiety, all kinds of uh, stuff, pain. And I was just mm. doing it in six minutes, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing it. And yeah. then from there, it grew, and now I here I am today. I'm not, in, I'm not in the humble beginnings like I was back then, but... It's just to make prove a point that I think it was just following my heart, and um, I never asked for the mm. gift. I never, I never took a class. I never put a label on myself. Um, I just surrendered. I guess that was really my sole calling in this lifetime to really get out of the ego. So that's that's not really how yes. these vibrations come through me is beyond my mind. And I think I really had to go through those hardships in my whole life to be really compassionate with my clients as I am today. And um, have the wisdom because I've been through a lot myself. I know how to heal people because I've had to heal myself first uh, before yes. I would even know how to do it. So um, mm. that's where my compassion comes in my work and my knowledge. And then, of course, the sounds over the years have um, gotten stronger because I've been downloaded and downloaded with these frequencies from source, I call it, um, so I can work with groups of people that I do today versus just starting in the beginning with uh, one or two people. And now I'm global, and I have a, have a website, and I, you know, I work with doctors all over the world, um, doing uh, their pain, helping them with their pain issues, and uh, working with everybody. I'm just here to serve wow. the highest good, you know, whoever well, wants. We're, to. we're going to yeah. feel it today. I'm excited. This is Thank great. You. Now, Don, as you feel into this, do you have any idea where these frequencies come from, or do you have any feeling mm-hmm. as to like what their origin is? Are they yeah. from source? Are they from a Pleiadian yeah. or galactic federation? Or, or are no. they just coming in from your heart? I mean, where do you think they come from? Well, the, the, the energy that comes through me, Darius, is powerful, okay? So it's not just a trickle of energy. I mean, I, I have like a stream mm. of energy like right now that flows through my body, and it's taken me years uh, to get used to these source frequencies. I call it the creator okay. because this energy that comes through me is powerful. It's uh, my body took years just to be able to accept this. I mean, there was a part of my being kind of not wanting, well, thinking it was weird and, oh, my God, you know, yeah. it's kind of overwhelming. 
um, to the physical body to really accept these frequencies. So um, I've been kind of fed these frequencies over the years, but they still are overwhelming even to this day. I mean, right now what I'm running through my body at this moment is a lot of energy flowing through me, which is um, not really from a planet because I really believe Source has created all beings, including other planets, other galaxies, other aliens, whatever you want to call it, and it comes from one energy which is source, and I really believe that all of us, including us here today, can connect into that internal power that's really within ourselves and resides in ourselves. And uh, what we'll be doing, if we do later, is the grounding process of really uh, grounding our soul, our life force energy of our source self, our divine being, to our body, so we don't have to look outside of ourselves for anything. We already have it inside of ourselves. So basically what I do is just bring all of ourselves back together into wholeness, into one collective, which is really us anyway, and it really doesn't have to be, and, I, and I, it doesn't have to be from anything outside of ourselves. We already are it. So my mm-hmm. ability is, is, is um, you might want to call me a healer, is to really make that stronger within ourselves so we know that we have it already. We don't really need anything outside of ourselves. We just need to be familiarized what is really us. So that's what I'm really here today uh, beyond the anti-aging is to really pe- help people really feel their true power of their true self, which is really peaceful, believe it or not, when people feel the true essence of their soul and their bodies. It's a very sense, it's a sense of calmness and a sense of everything is okay. And you really don't feel the world around you as much either because you become your own planet within yourself. I say your own planet, your own energy source. And then everything around you doesn't really affect you anymore, like the world and all the chaos that is going on right now. And um, that's really the miraculous part of my work beyond, um, you know, I have the ability to, you know, obviously get re- release pain in people and help people look younger. That's just, you know, the byproduct of really bringing in the pure divine source uh, power that we really truly are, all of us. We're all from one energy, and it's beyond any solar systems or any planets out there. It's the source that created all, including uh, mm. everything. And that's really what I, re- that's what I really um, channel. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.